And I would do anything for love. If you've heard that song as much as I have today, you're not alone. As many DJs across the country have been playing it in honor of the passing of singer and actor Meatloaf. We talked to a longtime San Diego radio host, share his memories of the iconic star. Singing from his 1977 debut album, Bat Out of Hell, Meatloaf went on to sell over 40 million copies worldwide, one of the best-selling albums in history. We would drive around in my aunt's old Dodge Dart, and I remember hearing Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell, the original of the three of the trilogy, and I remember asking, who is this dude, and what's he about? And San Diego radio personality for 24 years, Clint August of 101.5 KGB, says he's been a big fan of Meatloaf's larger-than-life persona. But really, throughout the years, I started to like Meatloaf. I started to like his style, the operatic style of, of rock, that rock opera type of performance on the stage. It wasn't just like fireworks and, you know, big booms. It was, it was like you're watching, almost watching something on Broadway. Meatloaf, whose real name was Marvin Lee Aday, performed on Broadway and has more than 100 TV and film credits, including appearances on Wayne's World and Fight Club. My name is Bob. And as Eddie, the ex-delivery guy in 1975's Rocky Horror Picture Show. Meatloaf was born in 1947 in Dallas to a World War II veteran and police officer father and a school teacher, gospel singer mother. In high school, Meatloaf has said he got his nickname from a football coach who called him a hunk of meatloaf. Meatloaf had mega hits like Paradise by the Dashboard Light and Clint August's favorite song. Absolutely, two out of three ain't bad is definitely one of them. And, and he crossed genres is what I think with him. I think he took the Broadway. I think he took the rock. And, you know, you mentioned Motown. I think he just pulled it all together. Meatloaf won a Grammy for his classic, I'd Do Anything for Love. Meatloaf died Thursday night, surrounded by his wife Deborah and daughters Pearl and Amanda. No official cause of death has been released. Heather Hope, CBS 8.